There's no way that we think that this alien in Mexico is real, right? <laughs> there's, there's just no way. This video is obviously not going to be unlike any other one on the channel music related, but I felt like I just had to make this because how are we going to have out of 2000 plus years of our calendar being alive and real and, and time continuum, we're going on our calendar. Out of all these years that the human race has existed, never once had encounters with aliens. Now, all of a sudden, the last six months, both the United States and the United States beard have both had alien encounters? I thought it was just a United States thing. I thought like whenever I was watching some of the hearing of the guy basically confirming that we have aliens, and like I was like, oh my God, this is such a United States storyline, bro. The ego of my country and our country to be like, out of all the places that aliens could have visited in the known universe and unknown universe, they decided to come to Earth and not only did they decide to come to Earth, they decided to land in the United States of all places. That is United States, American, we're number one thinking, eagle screech if I've ever heard it. Bro, it wasn't even about the alien. To me, the more concerning thing was not that we, there was somebody here potentially gonna fucking murder us all, but more like, ooh, this government employee is clearly lying under perjury. He's clearly committing perjury. So uh, what does that say about our judicial system? If this guy just feels so, ah, I'll do it, I'll, I'll, I'll commit perjury, no big deal. It's kind of setting a weird precedent on top of the other weird precedents that have already been set. So the whole time I was like, America, we're fucking stupid. But then the United States government not only confirms that they have an alien body or whatever, they show it. They show this paper mache head ass eighth grade science project of an alien body and they're supposed then they expect everybody to believe that my goddaughter just turned eight like a couple of weeks ago and she could probably make a paper mache alien that is close to what they're trying to show us and pass off as a mummified alien all of this technology for this alien to have even if it's all right let's just say it's from here which is highly unlikely knowing everything we know about our dna slash evolution slash carbon makeup even if you want to say from the divine power at B, even if you're not a evolution, you're a creationist. Out of all the things, we find an alien, just a single one supposedly, with no human, with no civilization attached to it. And if it really is from outside worlds, it, they decided to that mummification was going to be the best thing. Were they watching the Were they watching the Egyptians BC? Were they just watching them and be like, you know what, this mummification thing might be the way to go? There's no way that y'all are believing this, right? Like, or is there? Do, do y'all believe this? Do, do y'all believe that we happen to find an alien that Steven Spielberg, with no prior knowledge of aliens or what this particular alien would just found looks like, he just happened to recreate probably like 87 to 93 percent accuracy for the movie et do you think that's possible or is it more plausible that whoever decided that a we're gonna tell let, let's get into a think room and let's just brainstorm ideas about what this alien could look like and somebody just reverse engineered et and was like you know what let's copy et but let's change it just enough so the teacher doesn't know that we copied each other now i'm not like some kind of conspiracy nut that's all about like 9 11 was committed by whatever the fuck and yada 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 like whatever comp conspiracy back into the left the second shooter on the burn like on or on the berm like i'm not i, I don't have time or energy to even care about those kind of things okay those are real sweet you're right about the conspiracy now what what do we do with that information how's that gonna make me make my nine to five or life better so i'm not one to believe in conspiracies very much but this shit is like why why are the government bodies all about telling us about aliens it all seems a little weird this time like are we are we distracting the population from something we don't hear about anything until we have probably what is the most polarizing presidencies in the united states going from trump to Biden and then potentially back to Trump and and the aliens just happen to come through when when all of this is happening COVID just happened and the aliens decide to come through and see what the vid's all about 
the aliens came through and just wanted to see the empirical data on whether or not masks actually work or not. The aliens decided to stop off at the 9-11 memorial the day before they get found out. The aliens just decided to stop off in Mexico for some street tacos and takis. On the way to lizard shape-shifting in the airplane with the mo that motherfucker right there is not real. You know what I mean? Like, the audacity of the... Of the at, at this point, I thought it was just the United States. I was going to say the audacity of the United States to think that some shit like this would happen to us. But at this point, it's like the audacity of the Western Hemisphere to be like, hey, two alien sightings in six months. Where the fuck you at, Russia? You think the aliens cared about your communism? There's no way y'all believe this, right? If you do believe it, let me know. Damn, I was gonna say I'm not gonna judge, but I'm definitely gonna judge. I ended the video, but then I decided to like ask this. If you made it this far in this video, should I make a second channel that's just dedicated to the shit and my opinions on the shit that I see on the internet? Like, would that be something that you would want to watch? It's expected to be what you would expect is something along the lines like this. It would be like a video like this, super sarcastic, kind of judgy if if it's if it's too much. And I and I can't believe people are are believing what they're believing kind of like Mimi where I'm just I'm just poking fun or is that too much is that too harsh for people and you wouldn't want to watch that it'll definitely be a polarizing channel because it'll be opinion based people don't even like when I give my fucking opinion on these reactions much less a, an opinion on a polarizing topic so y'all let me know it'll be called like earn on the internet that's actually a pretty good name for the channel earn on the net that might be what it is let me know